Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've got an update on the Victoria Alonzo situation. That is fired Marvel executive. Mm -hmm. Fired. They actually said it right here. Fired. Oh, yeah, her her own lawyer said she was fired. She was fired from Disney slash Marvel. Apparently. Allegedly, this is what the official story was for working on and promoting an Amazon movie. However, people think it has more to do with the VFX situation. That's what I think. Because uh, she was in charge of that. And they also think it's because she kept trying to steer the ship into an iceberg. Yep. With a lot of the decisions. <laughs> trying to steer the ship into a frigid bitch. Yes. Oh, I mean an iceberg. Sorry. Yeah. So. Uh, bitches. There, there was talk of a lawsuit. Um, they were trying to say that uh, there was more to this story and, and uh, they were kind of defaming her. And now within a couple of weeks, Disney is paying her off to shut her up. Well, I'm sure, I, I think part of it, in my opinion, was, and, and I think her lawyer knew exactly what they were doing when they came out and said, you're just getting rid of her because she's a gay Latina. They weren't, we all know they weren't. Disney is like pushing diversity and inclusion. We, we, they keep doubling, tripling down on it. They got in trouble in Florida because of the way they push diversity and inclusion and they're not stepping back from that. So why the hell would they fire her for that reason? They wouldn't, but they, the narrative is what Disney's afraid of. And as we said many times, bad press PR is kryptonite to Disney. So since they, they put that out there, they knew they could leverage, you know, public opinion based on oh, how dare they, even though it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I think what's going on that the, the big story here is that they are dealing with a lot of bad press, like you said, in regards, especially to Marvel with declining box office receipts. They do not want to be dealing with Victoria Alonso when the Marvels comes out. And there's still all kinds of headlines about, you know, Disney hates women because look what they did to the gay Latina. Well, they I don't even her. think they fired her because of the the um, the Argentina 1985 film. I, even though they said that supposedly she did have permission for it. They're saying it's a breach of contract. I, I can't think that she would spend that much time on it without permission because she'd get caught. Yeah. But I think it's more to do with the fact that their video, their movies can get pushed back. The, yes. They come out and the, the special effects are, are not finished or look like crap. See Modoc. Right. <laughs> All this stuff is on her watch. That is her was her job. She yeah. was in charge of this shit. And whether she was out there doing another movie, um, it might have been the fact that that was part of it, was that she was supposed to be doing that her own time and she was taking too much time off and wasn't getting her other stuff done. So it was impacting Disney and Marvel or whatever. I know that they said that several uh, different VFX people came out and said that that she created a toxic environment, put them on blacklist. They didn't do everything she wanted. It, it was ridiculous. They had so much a, a black eye with the VFX community and it was mostly because of her. I think that's why they got rid of her. They just used the other thing as an excuse to get rid of her. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. And I think this is the last you're going to hear of her for quite some time because if Disney paid her off, that means there's going to be an NDA. That means she's going to have to shut her mouth. She can probably go sit with Bob Chapek wherever he went. Yeah. We don't, <laughs> Wait, where is Bob Tah Chapek? Tahiti. He went to Tahiti. I don't know. Tahiti, yeah. That's, that's where they send Bob. I get that reference. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that got, yeah, that got snapped too, didn't that uh -huh. whole continuity. We're going to talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, so this is coming from The Verge. Disney has reached a multi-million dollar settlement with Fire fired VFX head Victoria Alonzo. They're not saying her full uh, uh, job description. She basically has been with Marvel since the beginning, but she was given a lot more power a couple of years ago. And um, she has, as I understand it, been kind of steering the ship, the MCU phase four. A lot of it was her idea. Uh, changing uh, Namor to Namor was her idea. Uh, focusing on 2015 era Marvel Comics characters was her idea. Oh, shocker. I wonder why they got rid of her. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, they went immediately, the lawyer immediately went for the gay Latina thing because they knew that Disney would, would not want the bad PR. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, she probably, as an executive, did have a, a non-compete because people are trying to argue on different blogs. Oh, no, no, they don't They don't get non-competes. I can tell you for sure, if you're one of the top executives at a studio, you probably have non-competes because they don't want you going and working for other studios on their time or what, using their name, leveraging them. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. They kind of send you to the butterfly farm. I, I'm I'm sitting here thinking about Axel Alonso, who I don't, I don't know if they're related or not. Uh, Axel Alonso, who ran Marvel Comics, and he ran Marvel Comics into the ground. He's the guy who was in charge of Marvel Comics when they did all the swaps and they switched mm -hmm. all the characters out. And again, these are the characters they're using in the MCU right now. But they got rid of him like 
four or five years ago, and you don't hear from him anymore. He's certainly not talking about Marvel no. anymore. So they basically probably gave him a couple million dollars, said, thanks, no thanks, you're out the door, but you can never talk about well, that's yes, one of the stipulations. I mean, you're never going to find out exactly what happened because there's going to be a gag order in place. And didn't you say there was a rumor that she was going to put out some big expose on Marvel? Yeah. So I think it's a rumor. It's a rumor. They said that her lawyers were going to, you know, have fun with this because they were going to drop bombshells. And this is how Marvel's really like. It's not going to be that much of a bombshell. It was probably all the stuff that people like us have been saying. I think she knows the pain points, like she knows where to push it. Obviously she's been with Disney long enough. She knows where to push them to get what she wants, which is basically, she wanted a, a fat payout. She probably didn't get as much when she got, well, they fired her. So she didn't get as much as she thought she should get given, you know, the fact that she's been with Marvel since pretty much the beginning and, you know, billions and billions of dollars. And she's probably like, no, you give me a couple hundred million dollars and I'll shut the hell up. Now her lawyer is the same one that was representing the woman that was suing uh, Lucasfilm yeah, yeah. for what they, for being hired and turned out other work. And then they got rid of her. I'll have to look into it later to see if her case, because she suddenly went quiet too. You don't hear anything about that, but you know, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Again, I think this this particular law firm knows where to push push the mouse's buttons. It's funny to me because people are like, "Well, they must be innocent, and that's why they that's why they settled." And it's no. like, no, Disney will settle with people just to shut them the hell up. I mean, yeah, they do it all the time. It's worth it to them to pay her however many millions of dollars she wanted uh, because they knew if she was out there talking, especially when they're trying to turn the MCU around, they're trying to get people to go to Guardians Three, they're trying to get people to go to the Marvels, and she's out there talking about one well, awful place marvel is and i've been there since the beginning and they're awful and here let me give you some dirt on these people that was going to hurt their box office uh -huh. they're like no it's give her a hundred million dollars to shut her up and send her on her way and we never have to deal with right her again. and i mean in yeah. some cases i think people they people are innocent or people are right like the cases like the onward van i mean it was an awfully big coincidence oh does yeah. that disappear too all these things disappear you never hear about it like people in the skyliner that got trapped that time never heard anything else about it after did you so in cases like that there are people that i think legitimately you know they were right and they they shut them up but when the, the higher up you are and the more dirt you have it's just easier to shut you up than it is to let you say stuff right right um so anyway this is coming from the verge uh disney fired marvel studios former vfx and post-production head victoria alonzo again she had more influence on marvel than that which is why Literally, i think she yeah. really got going it was widely reported the decision came down as a result of her violating company policy by I working that's on. Excuse. Yeah, they have to find a, a, a reason to get rid of her by working on and promoting another studio's film. It was also suggested that the middling response to some of the VFX yep. in Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, might have played a role in her dismissal. Mm -hmm. But in the latest turn of events, rather than letting a legal battle play out publicly in court, Marvel has agreed to just settle with her. Uh, while the specific details of Disney's settlement with Alonzo haven't been made public. And they won't be. They won't be. Deadline reports it being a multi-million dollar amount. Neither Disney nor Alonzo's legal representation has made statements. They won't. But in the weeks leading up to the agreement, both sides were vocal about what they believed led to her dismissal. Uh, reports allege that Alonzo's work as a producer on Argentina 1985 at Amazon and her decision to promote it at the Oscars led to it. I think um, I think I think that she did get permission because they. I they mean, knew, they, they there's knew. no one they didn't know. So her argument that she got permission, I think she did permission. I think when they started realizing they might want to get rid of her, they might have said, "Oh well, you can't go do this, this, and this," knowing that she'd do it anyway, and then they'd have grounds. So I I think that they they used that as a reason. I don't think that was an accurate. I mean, that's probably why she won, but yeah. you know, because it's not accurate. Do I think it's because she's a gay Latina? Hell no. Disney, they wouldn't do that. That's stupid. I mean, given how they are current year, there's no way in hell they'd fire you for that reason alone. Uh, yeah. But I do think it's because of how Marvel's been run, you know, to it's, it's, it's like in the shitter now. Yeah. And a lot of its choices that were spearheaded by her and she wasn't doing her job. She was out there doing this other movie and she and all these movies are getting pushed back. The VFX houses were refusing to work with Disney. That They kept losing more and more people because of Inca Alonso and the toxic environment she created. I think that has that's probably why they got rid of her, but they're using the other thing as an excuse. Uh, so Victoria was fired over a handful of press interviews according to a lawyer. I insisted her client was a gay Latina who had the courage to criticize Disney and she was silenced. Yeah, because she said she said something about the don't say gay thing. Yeah. And I'm like, no, because Bob Chapek already effed that up and then turned at that point he was already turning it around and saying, Oh, we're gonna go along with it now. So that's bullshit because they would have embraced that at that point. Yeah, what what her her side of the story is she was terminated when she refused to do something she believed was reprehensible. 
Disney and Marvel made a really poor decision that will have serious consequences. They said basically they censored something in Ant-Man 3 for Kuwait. Um, but, well, shocker there. Yeah, but the thing is, is that they, they have it in so many other movies. It's not just this no, movie. No, it's not just this movie. And the thing is, they were getting rid of people for speaking out at events against Disney. There had been a shit ton of people to fire because a whole bunch of other people were at events and, and you know, protests and stuff, screaming about Disney and going to the media and putting yeah. up websites and stuff. You know, it, that doesn't that doesn't, you know, track. Yeah, Disney, uh, Disney slash Marvel accused Alonzo of sharing a narrative that leaves out several key factors concerning her departure, but said it will continue to wish her the best for the future. Well, Disney themselves leave out several key aspects of na her narrative, so they yeah. can't really say much. But yeah, you know. so so yeah, basically, again, I think they're they're kind of taking the L at this point because they know, given L being lost, not lesbian. <laughs> I'm clarifying. <laughs> they uh, no, they're getting rid of the L. Uh, no, they're they're taking taking the L right now because it's going to cost them more money probably in the long run, especially after the don't say gay debacle in Florida. They're looking at that to to fight this woman for years potentially in court. You know, and every time a Marvel movie comes out, there she is. Yeah, remember how awful they are, guys. Remember mm -hmm. how awful. And this way, she shuts up and goes away. Remember. We were going to ship Ant-Man and MODOK together. You could have had that, but, you know. You know what's going to happen is in like a month, people are going to be like, uh, Victoria who? I mean, let's be honest. That's what happens. No. Every time they pay someone off, everybody forgets about it. Like a couple months later, like who? Pretty much. I mean, I Disney mean, is, look, I hate to say it, but they are. Good at damn, burying shit? Damn good, yeah. Damn good at making people disappear, making problems disappear. Um, they don't kill people. No. I want to clarify it, but they're. No. They're pay we mostly don't. We don't think they kill people, but they give lots of money to people, and then they shut up. Or they completely destroy them in other ways. And I mean, destroy their lives. Oh yeah, I guess there's that, isn't there? They yeah. didn't actually physically do it, kill the kill people, but they, they led they them will, to killing themselves. Yes. Yes. So and you know, yeah, making life hell to you, you <laughs> off yourself. That's yeah. That's that's the Disney way. That's so magical. That mm -hmm. is Disney magic. Allegedly. Um, allegedly Disney making problems disappear. It's Disney magic, everybody. Right. Uh, so we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.